Well, welcome back to Way of the Hunter and the channel. I just want to say thanks to my new subscribers who've uh, decided to subscribe, uh, subscribe to the channel for these videos I've been putting up. Much appreciated. Thanks very much. But if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give videos a like and a share. And if you want to leave a comment on the game on the videos, please do. I usually answer all my uh, comments as soon as I see them. Uh, as you see by the montage then, at the beginning there, I did a bit more of a hunt. Uh, what have I got here? My character. Uh, you can see now, I mean, that's the first one for the calls. I've been trying to level my callers up. Working on that one, we're at the, uh, 16 out of 30, so we're just over halfway. I mean, 10 gave us that, so I've managed to get another 6 uh, since the last video. Uh, so I've been trying to um, upgrade that one there. Uh, but as you saw, I did get a 4-star elk, I believe it was. And because I've only got these guys... Hollywood and his father in the lodge, and I've got nothing else. Like I said, I'm not too bothered about getting five stars. And, well, it'd be nice if you could, but you know, I'm not one of these people that go around only wanting five stars and that. But there is my four-star elk, which I thought was really nice looking. That's why I decided to keep him. So I thought I'd put him up there. I think it still costs something like 360 or 380 in cash. Whereas you put one of the um, the full-bodied ones on here, I think it was something like 1,400 or something like that. 14 or 1,600 to put, you know, like a full-body uh, display on. So, yeah, I just went with the head at the minute. So what I'm thinking of doing, because I've been wandering around, as you can see on the map, um, I've been wandering around over here, up to here. I've opened up a couple more um, fast travel camps and what have you. Uh, I'm looking at doing, there is the job for, was it, the, the, the white tail, wasn't it this one here, wasn't it? About collecting the hearts, isn't it? Uh, two white tail hearts, one male, one female, so avoid damaging the heart so the meat can stay intact. I'm going to accept that, I'm going to see if I can have a bash at that. So I've got to do one male, one female. I'm going to leave that up at the top left. Um, now, if I go into my encyclopedia, um, where are we? Oh, no, we want animals. And I think it was five o'clock for mule and white. I think they're both the same. Yeah, five for eating, nine for drinking in the morning, then the resting at one o'clock, then five and ten for eating and drinking. They can go either side of that time, it doesn't necessarily, because some's going to be a rare um, zone and some's going to be a often. Now, I've been trying to work out the, um, uh, the, the zones themselves, the, that, that with hunting pressure. Now, I've, I don't know why I went to the door then, I don't want to do time. Um, yeah, the, I was trying to follow, I found a zone and it was a often zone. And then I found tracks on one of their trails by well, looking at they use regular. And I was trying to follow in that, thinking, well, okay, after the sleep, you've got the feed zone, and then you go on to a drinking zone. It sort of led me into the direction of water, but then the tracks just stopped. And then I had, I think that was mule deer, and then I had white tail tracks coming back the other way, so there was no other tracks. But then I found a white tail feeding zone, which I think was an often one. Um, so yeah, it kind of threw me a little bit because as far as I understand, if you, if you hunt too much in an area, you, you'll lose their often zone and they'll disappear to their rarely zone. I'm, I think that's how I understood it. I've been watching videos, I've been looking online to try and find out stuff. Uh, that's how I've interpreted it. Now, whether it's right or not, I have got no idea whatsoever. But, oh, wrong button. But yeah, I don't know. I'm still trying to work it out. <laughs> so we want to. What I'm looking at doing is there was a. Hold on, let's go to Psychopedia again. Go to the animals. Uh, mule or white tail. They don't really matter. They're all the same. Um, oh yeah, I did manage to open a grey wolf up as well. Uh, I only spotted them briefly before they ran off. I didn't even know where they were there. Uh, but they, what is it, midnight for resting, five in the morning for eating, nine in the morning for drinking. Now, I want to go onto the map, and what I want to do up here, was it here? Was that white tail there? Now, 
they've got a feed zone there, a feed zone there, a drinking zone there, and a rest zone here. So I want to see, was it five in the morning, I want to change my time to as near as five. And then I'm going to fast travel to that camp that I opened up. So 4.37 is the closest I can get to it. I wish you could change the minutes on this as well, but you don't appear to be able to. So 4.37 is what I'm going to wait till. I'll come off there, go back. Right, now let's go back to the map, and I want to come up here. So like I said, their zones was here, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to fast travel to there, and we'll just see if anything's about. Now, like I said, this is a game of patience, so it might mean waiting around a bit. They might already be there. Are we there? Yep, I thought we froze then, it was just me. What am I stuck on? I think I'm stuck on that bench. Right, let's have a wander. The wind's blowing in our favour. Because as far as I remember, the white tail zone was over to the right. Now I have shot one over there before. I'm going to crouch here and just uh, walk my way down slowly that way. I did shoot one over here uh, when I wasn't recording. So I don't know how many times... Um, or how many animals you shoot in an area before the um, the zone is becomes like unusable and they go somewhere else where the, the pre hunting pressure, that's what I was looking for, um, where the hunting pressure kicks in, I've got no idea. But we want a male and a female. Now, if I can, I know it's unethical, but I think shot placement isn't... Uh, my best at the minute so I'm wondering I know it's unethical but maybe to take um, if I can a headshot so I definitely won't damage the heart now it's only for this mission so I don't know it, it, it might work it might not it all depends but have I got my hunter vision yeah it is now I didn't have it on before because there is a zone just down here I think it was but I don't know, because I shot a four-star mature, I think it was. I cashed it in. I didn't, uh, obviously I didn't taxidermy it. I, I just cashed it in, because uh, I wanted the money. But I don't know if just that one kill will make them avoid this area. Now, this is the only drink zone I've got over here for them. was around I think it was around this bit here and I, I did it at night so we are a little bit early still it says five o'clock what it and it's 452 now so let's just wait and see if anything comes in and like I said the white tail were over there I think we had some wild duck often down here with that lesser scoop scalp uh, over that side and along here i think we had some rare mule rarely used mule deer over that side but i don't know if I, as far as i can remember that's what it was so i'm going to sit here for a bit and see if anything comes in so uh i'll be back with you if and when it does if not, we'll have to look somewhere else. Right. <clears throat> Some of you might have noticed I actually set my time wrong. I set it for 5 o'clock. That's for feeding. Well, it's supposed to be 9 o'clock for a drinking. Now, there is a couple of foxes around here. I did try, uh, as I was waiting, to try and get a little bit of video with them. I might have put it in the video and that. But I have noticed we have got a whitetail young over there. The only one I've seen come down here. I haven't seen any others yet. Is he aware of us? No. What we are? 197, 96, 95. I see if we can get closer. 
where we buy this tree. Now when I came down here when it was in the evening, it was at night, about 10 o'clock I think it was, I, they came down this hill up here and they came down to here. So I don't know if there's a, that was the, I'm sure that one I got them in the evening was, was a, an often, not a rarely. Now this is the only male here. I know it's probably, it might be a decent one. I might should leave it, but for this mission, I might just have to do something. So I'm going to see if I can get as close as I can to that fox. I heard it then. Where is it? There. There's one. And it's calm. Not very far away either. Oh, we? 36. Got its back to us though. Well, the wind direction is going in the opposite direction as well, so. Right, let's see if we can sneak up a bit more on this. I, I want to get this, and they said and all we've got to do is get a female. But I did say I was going to try and get a headshot. Let's go prone a minute and just see if we can creep up a bit more. I don't want to spook this. I've been sat here waiting for... Since I left you, uh, it had to be at least 20 minutes, 25 minutes. <laughs> you really have got to have some patience. I've got to look if it's still drinking. I haven't seen any other deer come in as well, so it, it seems to be on its own. So said they came down over there. Alright, let's see as far as I can get to the uh, edge of the water. Nearly there. What's this there? Red fox, often. Oh, there you go. Just seen the foxes as well. Alright. Where's he gone? There he is. Look, and I can't see any other deer around. So what I might do... What's his distance? 158 is a hell of a shot if I can get him in the head. That's why it's not a very ethical thing to do. Right, that fox just thinks just heard me. It was over there, yeah. Yeah, alerted, so he's buggered off. Thankfully, I've lost him. Where is he? There, he ain't heard. So I'm going to give it a call. Let's get a little bit further. I think it's like 150. They, you can get a better. They hear it better or something. Right, where are we go. Yeah, 150. Uh, where are we? 150. Right, I'm going to give it a call. Uh, let's have the deer grunt. That's not that one. We want that. Low fitness male. See what happens here. Might be too far away. He might be a high fitness. I honestly don't know. Right, I'm going to mark it on 53. I don't think it's going to come. Right, I think this is where, for me, it's shit or bust. <laughs> right, and uh, let's bring that down there. And let's see what I can do. Oh! Got it. Nice. Right. Get up. All right, let's get round and claim this one. Like I said, not very ethical, must admit. Not entirely happy and chuffed with myself, but I didn't want to damage the heart, and knowing my luck, I'll be getting heart shots for each single one I go for. <laughs> <laughs> which if I wanted to I'd never be able to do it but he went straight down so hopefully this will count you know what I'll have to do I'll spawn over to a different campsite uh, an area well I thought it was going to sink then yeah there's a scout All right yeah go to a different area then and see if I can pick up a female which shouldn't be too difficult Let's hope he wasn't. Uh, his genes weren't too too good. Right, that was a flesh and spine shot. Okay. 
and he was a 35 young so yeah i don't think it changes much so we've done good on that one there so we've got 167 now you can see i've got 4620 at the top right so let's add that to it and i missed what he said then but it counted so i'm chuffed with that right uh i thought i saw something a minute ago actually but Oh, must be those foxes over there. They're a bit twitchy and glitchy. Twitchy and glitchy, that's what we could call them. Yeah, look, those two foxes disappearing off up through the trees. I thought I'd seen something. I didn't realise the foxes had gone there. Right. I'm going to find another spot. And I'm going to fast travel to the campsite or whatever, which is ever's nearest, to see if I can find them. So I'll be back within a sec. Right, we fast travel back. I'm going to a uh, a spot, a drinking spot for Whitetail. That um, I've I only found the zone when I was wandering around. I haven't been to see if there's any deer there. There's two spots there. One's obviously I think I don't know if they're both rarely or often or one of each. But there goes the pheasant. Oh, there's a lot of. Mule deer over there. Which, in all honesty, if I start, I bet you're spooked them now. Are they going to run off? Oh, is that one? I thought I saw antlers sticking up then. They've probably run off now. There's a pheasant. Thing is, the wind's going in that direction. I shouldn't do this. What am I doing? I've got to be there before nine, really. So, let's jump back in and let's just get going. <laughs> See how I get distracted. Now, as far as I know, it's a long ear. The mule deer, I think, come in there as well. Three point one kilometers. Oh, that might have been a marker where we already were. Uh, yeah, because look, this is the road we're going along, all the way here. And look, there's some white tail there, and there's a zone there and a zone there. Where were we before? We were up here. So let's remove that. So that's what I'm counting on at the moment. I haven't got any other zones for that for that, that group of that herd of our uh, white tail. We're going to make our way up here. Quite a ways away from it as well. But if we can see, if we can get one before we get there, it'd be even better. So let's just mosey on down this road. Right, well, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to see if I can walk the rest of the way. Right, we're out. I said, even if we can get a white tail before we get there, that'll be handy. Uh, have we got the vision on? Yeah, it's on. That's something glowing down here. That looks like badger, yeah. See, we will go across there. What is this? Is that badger as well? Yep. Let's say. This is how I've been playing my game, and I, I I like how I play my game. What's that? Is that a badger? Yes, it is a badger. A three-star mature. I think my uh, gun's a bit too big for that. I'll have to have a look. I think it's a tier three. I think badgers are on. And I do believe the... Um, like the caller for the fox, the bear, I think it works for the badger as well. I haven't actually paid much attention, to be honest with you. So we'll have a wander down here. What's down here? Elk drinking rarely. This is a new zone we've got. It might be an idea to write these things down, I think. So we know. Uh, the wind's blowing in that direction, so we should be alright. 
Pretty bloody deep there. I'll wander down here and have a look. I said I don't know if they'll come in. I mean, what is the time now? It is, it's 20, nearly 20 to 9 in the morning. So I said I did sleep. I just want one more deer. It's still the same elk zone. Sometimes I found zones literally right next to each other for different animals. So I think sometimes it's just worth like there, look, I mean, oh, it's a rarely one again, but that's a mule deer. Now I don't, like I said, I don't know if these zones change, whether they move somewhere else, as in they don't drink here anymore, that zone then moves to somewhere else. I'm guessing it stays within an area. That's why I said before, maybe it goes, um, if you overhunt the area that where they are in often, they then move to the area where it says rarely and vice versa. Now, I'm, I said I'm just guessing that, so I don't know. But we could be sat for ages waiting for summit. All right, still mule deer rarely. So going down these rivers and streams and what have you, Finding all these drinking zones. I don't. What's that? That's elk being spooked. They probably all run off now. Oh yeah, look, just run off over the hill up there. There you go. There. I think that was a male. So we're almost at the. Uh, it's the hunting stand. What's this here? A red fox. It seems to be a bit of a an area they rarely come to. I wonder if it's because the road's just there. So perhaps that's why. White tailed deer, that's what I want. Right, let's get the caller out. I am going to try and call it in. I didn't see how far away that was. Uh, right, can I get in this bush? I mean, they say stay near the bushes and that, but does it really have any effect? I know in Call of the Wild you can see, can't you, when you're exposed and how much you're exposed. But in this, you don't. Plus, you can walk through the bushes and that in this, where on Call of the Wild you can't do it on all of them. Right. I didn't spook them. Do another call. Unless they were on the way down to that drink area over there. I'm guessing now. Only guessing. Thought I saw something then, but came from up that way. All right, let's just uh, carry on down and see if we get any other calls come up. Yeah, I have got my hunter sense on. You'll do drinking often, right. Can't cross here, or can I cross there? Look too deep. That's a tree. God, I've gone from spotting rocks to like now spotting trees. <laughs> Right, I'm getting close to my marker, but I've just noticed my wind direction is actually, if we actually get up into the stand, which I wanted to do because it will help towards our um, perks, because that's elk, isn't it? But the wind direction is blowing straight towards what is supposedly a zone for them. 
which is supposedly down here. Uh, I want to see what this is on the bank over here. Maybe elk. Often. Okie doke. We did spook some elk up there, didn't we? What's that up there? Something's moving. Whitetail. They're on the way. Nice. Now I wonder if... How far away were they? I wonder if I can give a, a female a call. Oh, get sit down. They might be too distracted by going up there. Oh, there's one. I think I've got her attention. The rest of them are disappearing down there. So we will have a female whitetail coming towards us, which is good. What else have we got in here? Adult there. What's that? Is that just a male there? That's a one star. Oh, you. You're a one star. Right, they're calling. I better call back. That's it, girl. Keep coming. Oh, don't see if have lost interest. It's my own doing. There's another one star adult as well. Is she coming down? Or is she just starting to go towards the water? Please, please, come this way. I think she turned. Yep, she did. One and one thirty. Let's go to a hundred. Let's see if I can get a headshot with this. As long as I bring it down, I don't care. Like I said, not very ethical, not supposed to do it, but for this for this mission, I don't care. God, we are getting close. What are we now? 112. Down. Nice. They're spooked. Do I care right now? No. <laughs> Because I just want to get this one done. As I was thinking, like I said before, you get more uh, you get more money for doing these jobs. But at least that's another one ticked off then, off the email jobs. Where are we? You're up here, aren't you? There you go. Sorry, dear, but needs must. And that was a flesh, an artery, a skull, and a spine. Oh, and he just clipped it. That was lucky. It must be in wind direction or something. But no trophy rating. What we've got there, 0.5 kilograms lost. So we've got 137 for that. But this is what we wanted. So sell that. Check the mailbox. That was done. 4,924. Now, I, why didn't it say we got more money for that? I honestly don't know. Right, so there's that bit of roads opened up now, and that bit of uh, lake, not lake, river. And we found a, was it elk? Yeah, we've got some elk drink zones there. So we've got uh, one there, one there. We've got a feeding or eating zone there and a resting one there. We're going to have another resting and feeding zone somewhere. So what's this now? We've got to go back here. Fast travel. There you go. Oh, let's put him away. And we've got to go to the mailbox like the, by the look of it. But I'm going to end the video there. Just because I've been on here for a while now. I'm going to go up and show you once again my four star elk, which I really do like. There he is. Very gorgeous looking animal that. Shame to kill it. But no. There he is. I've actually got two in there now. Or shall I just say one because I don't really count that one of uh, Hollywood down there. 
<laughs> it's part of the jobs, wasn't it? Part of the mission. So, uh, oh, butt shot. Didn't really want that. But anyway, thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it didn't go on for too long. And then when we come back, we'll have a look and see what this uh, job in the uh, mailbox is. So, uh, but yeah, what I was also going to say is as well, with the money, I don't know. When I come back, I might. Let's go to the shop. I've got 4,924, my attachments, so I should be able to afford this one now, which is what I've been after, um, which is not going to leave me a lot, it's going to leave me what, uh, oh come on, 500, yeah around about 500 in cash. Which I wonder, uh, yeah, I'm not going to have enough for that one. I could have that one. But anyways, I might buy that because I'm happy with the rifles I've got at the minute. And I think that's going to be a better uh, site to use. So uh, thanks again for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, all the usual stuff. Notification bell, like and share. If you want to leave a comment on the video or the game itself, please do. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, again, thanks again for coming along. And this is just such a beautiful game. I am so enjoying it. Thanks again. Bye-bye.